Welcome to our video on midpoint and bisector exercises, part one. So here we have a diagram where we're asked to determine quite a bit of information from the given information. Let's go through the given information first. We're told that H is the midpoint of AE and DG. So here's the segment AE. If H is the midpoint, then segment AH is equal to the length of HE. And H is also the midpoint of segment GD. So GH is equal to HD. Next, we're also told that B is the midpoint of AC. Well, here's segment AC, so if B is the midpoint, then segment AB is the same length as segment BC. GD is the perpendicular bisector of FA and EC. Here's GD and here's FA. So if it's a perpendicular bisector, we know that, so segment FG has the same length of segment GA. And GD is also the perpendicular bisector of EC. And since we know this outer shape is a rectangle, because we have four right angles, not only is ED the same length as DC, it's also the same length as FG and GA. So we can mark all four of these with four hash marks. We're also told that AC is congruent to FE, and FA is congruent to EC. And we already knew that because, because we have a quadrilateral with four right angles. We would have to have a rectangle, and therefore we know opposite sides would be congruent. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can answer these questions now. The first question is, determine the length of AB. Well, here's AB, and notice it's one of the legs of this right triangle right here. So we could determine the length of AB by using the Pythagorean theorem. However, since we know that AC is congruent to FE, and FE is 24 inches, this would also be 24 inches. But since AB is the same length as BC, they'd both have to be 12 inches long. So AB must be 12 inches. Next question is, determine the length of GA. GA is this segment here, but GA is congruent with HB, so GA would be five inches. Next, we want the length of ED. ED is this segment here. Notice it has the same length as segment DC, and DC has to be congruent with segment HB, so if this is five inches, segment ED is also five inches. Next, we want to find the length of HE. HE is this segment here, and since H is the midpoint of segment AE, and AH is 13 inches, HE must also be 13 inches. Number six, we want to determine the measure of angle HDC. Angle HDC is this angle here, and because angle HDC and HDE are a linear pair, they would be supplementary, and if angle HDE is 90 degrees, angle HDC would also be 90 degrees. Next, we want the length of segment FA, and FA is the shorter side of the large rectangle, and since GA is congruent to segment HB, GA is five inches, and GA is congruent to segment FG, so it's also five inches, and therefore segment FA would be 10 inches. Now we want to determine the length of segment GD. Well, segment GD would be congruent to segment FE, so GD would have to be 24 inches. The last question is the measurement of angle FED. Well, angle FED is this angle here, and angle FED would be 90 degrees. We'll take a look at a second example in part two. Thank you for watching.